Hey, this is John, host of MGTOW is Freedom. Welcome everybody. Thanks for subscribing. Click that little bell down there. That way you get updates, alerts when I do new videos. Share, share these videos with all the young guys you know. They need all the help they can get. Shit, I wish I had had some help when I was growing up. You know, MGTOW, men going their own way, would have been a great philosophy from which to start in my life. Rather than getting into to life and then having women get in the way and then having to learn about it backwards. Fuck, you know. So I would have been very happy to get a lot of information. This video is the problem with nice guys. You know, nice guys. Nice guys finish last. Knowing that, why the fuck are nice guys nice guys? If you're told you're going to be a loser, why would you keep getting into a race just because you're a loser? You know, is it that they want to just be in the race? They want to feel like, well, they did their best and they're a nice guy and so they wear that loser as a badge of honor? You know, looking at being a nice guy from a nice guy perspective. I have, at times in my life, been called a nice guy by women. And if you want to know, that is the worst fucking thing they can say. Worst fucking thing they can say. Why? Because I knew what they thought of me. You know, when I was told I was a nice guy, I knew I was fucked. This is way before MGTOW, right? This is back in the early 90s. I knew I was fucked if they said, boy, John, you're a nice guy. Oh, you're such a nice guy. I knew instinctively that meant I was to be used, and so I just fucking walked away from it. There is no sense in being a nice guy. So what motivates them to be nice guys? You know, what could it be? Are they, are they fucking naive? Nice guys? You know, and the problem with their naivete is they can be talked into shit. They just don't know. They're inexperienced. They're naive. Do they, do they like being a fucking martyr and losing all the time so they can feel better about themselves? They use it as a form of uh, excuse. So when they end up being a loser, they're like, oh, you know, I'm just a nice guy. I'm too nice. And they just keep doing that. They keep doing that. And it doesn't matter whether they're romantic or whether they're boring or whether they're super exciting. The nice guy, he loses. Nice guys finish last. What other fucking motivation could there be for the nice guy? You know, what's in it for him? Now, what I can tell you is how many times, guys, have you been in bed with a girl and your, your cock was just that far away from, from hitting the fucking honey pot, right? And you're like, man, I was this close, that close, right? <laughs> and someone came in and interrupted it, right? The phone rang and it was your mom on the answering machine and it just ruins the moment. Or your brother walks in, right? <laughs> Anyways, so that sort of thing, right? I was that close. Maybe the nice guy... He thinks, man, I'm so close. And this is my best guess, why, why nice guys continue to be nice guys. They're with the girl and they think they're this fucking close to getting laid, to getting what they want. And that's the only thing that makes sense to me. Because as an ex-married man, there were many times in the marriage, and my marriage is nothing but fucking fights, pain in the ass. You know, I felt like I was that close to getting my way with the bitch. And it was a fucking trick. You know, she's just lying to me, just stringing me along, getting all she could out of me so she could tear shit away from me, right? But if she wanted something, she would let me get this close to getting my way just so she could get her way and then tell me no and fucking start a whole other series of fights. You know, goddamn feminist women are a fucking plague and a curse. Plague and a curse. They're on a plague and a curse on themselves, and if you're involved in them, you inherit it with them. It's just fucked up. Feminist fucking bitches, whores, cunts, the whole lot of them. Bunch of brass brassier wearing zombies running around. Just fucking ditch them. They're not worth it. Oh, fuck. So that's my guess. The problem with the nice guy is he thinks he's that close to convincing the woman that he's worth it. You know, and maybe there's enough nice guys that get married. You know, these uh, maybe they're total betas. Right, and a nice guy, the girl, until she fucking hits the wall, or her hormones drive her nuts, and she wants to get knocked up and have someone else pay for it. 
you know, pay for the baby and raise him and take care of her so she can be lazy. So then that's when they settle for the beta, nice guy. You know, but what does the nice guy do to the rest of women? Well, every time there's a nice guy, they all practice on him. Like one nice guy can be practiced on by dozens, potentially, dozens of women in a day, much less a fucking week or a month. Practice being sweet, finding out what they can offer them and seeing what the nice guy wants. I mean, fuck. Imagine if you could go to a room at a casino, step off to the side and go in there and they'll tell you which machines are going to pay off. Right, so you can go back out there, put in a quarter, and win a thousand bucks. Wouldn't you do that? Well, fuck, I would. I think that's what these feminist bitches do, is they keep a nice guy on the hook so they can find out what he needs and find out what the fucking payoff is so that she can get it out of him. That's what I think. And so the problem with these nice fucking guys is they're giving these fucking bitches, these gold-digging whores, what they want so they don't have to fucking behave in a better fashion. And I'm not talking about a relationship fashion. I'm just talking about in life general. Professionally is where I run into the most women. What a bunch of pain in the ass entitled bitches playing their little tricks on me and everyone else trying to get us to do shit for them. I'm no fucking nice guy. I'm not doing shit. Quid pro quo, bitch. What do I get out of it? It's your job. No, it's your fucking job. You do it. And I'm not playing those fucking games anymore. You know, there's nothing they offer that I want. Nothing. Nothing at all. Right? There's no woman that can give me a raise. <laughs> there's no woman that can satisfy my ego. I satisfy my ego. There is no feminist woman in, in my professional life. Right? Little old lady. When I do something nice for a little old lady, get a door for her, get something off the top shelf in the supermarket, that satisfies my need to be a nice guy. Helping some gold digging whore out? No, nada, nada, nada. But the problem with the nice guy is it encourages bitches and it encourages nice guys encourage gold digging whores to keep being gold digging whores and to keep taking advantage of men and practicing on them. And then the nice guy, he's also like Superman. He sees some damsel in distress. In, in distress and he becomes a white knight he fucking spins in circles spins up a hundred miles an hour comes out with that shining armor and the nice guy will run run to a bitch's aid in a fucking second why because he's a nice guy right he may not be looking to be a white knight all the time but I imagine if he thinks right He's going to get that much closer. He's going to fucking, he's going to bone up and become a white knight. You know, the nice guy. He finishes last. I mean, seriously. If you heard the expression, it's been popularized. Women know it. Women live it. Women inspire the nice guy. And I'm sure every now and then a nice guy gets laid. And he's like, ah, oh, it was because I was a nice guy. The nice guy doesn't see why he gets the rewards he gets. The nice guy doesn't see it coming. Because he's not playing that kind of fucking game. He's playing it straight. And the fucking woman is using him. So if a woman gives pussy to a nice guy, guess what? She just gave, uh, you know, a couple hundred dollars worth of sex. But she's going to extract a couple thousand dollars in effort out of the guy. Or direct cash. She may give him pussy a week, two weeks, three weeks ahead of time. Knowing she's going to need him to do something later. You cannot put anything past these fucking users. And being a nice guy, you're a big, fat, juicy meal ticket. That's all there is to it. And it, But my problem with the nice guy, I don't give a fuck if they want to try white knight in me. Really? That's going to be a big fucking white knight or a bunch of them to try it. No one has to date. Not to fucking date has anyone tried that shit with me. Ever. So a lot of people I know are afraid of these white knights out there, right? Or a group of them. I'm not. Fuck them. You know, I call a fucking feminist whore a feminist whore when I see a feminist whore. A gold digging whore. A bitch. You fucking let them know. You go to fucking war with them. The only time I don't is when I'm wearing, like, a badge, a name tag. You know, and then I could get in trouble at work if I'm too rude to somebody. 
<laughs> Otherwise, I fucking lay into them. I do the opposite of what the good guy does. The nice guy. He encourages their behavior. I discourage it. He gives them a the reason to do it more. I give them a reason to fucking quit being bitches. And of course, I don't expect them to stop. But I certainly want to make them think twice before they do it. The nice guy makes my life more difficult. The nice guy makes all MGTOW's life more difficult. Because he encourages and teaches women how to take advantage of men. And that makes our lives harder. Not only up front, but socially. We have to put up with that shit all around us. As well as financially and legally. Because of their infiltration as feminists into the legal system. And now it affects us. It affects us financially as men. So that is why my recommendation is, if you see a, a, a nice guy, let him know, hey, fucking guy, there's a reason nice guys finish last. And you may get laid here and there, but it ain't because you're a nice guy. That's not what did it. What did it was some broad's idea of seeing you get used. And I can give one more example of nice guy. I watch one all the time, all the time. He is such a fucking nice guy. He kisses their ass and dotes on them and stands on them. And I watch these women just treat this guy like shit. And he don't fucking learn. And he keeps trying it. And he's done it his whole life. He's in his 50s. He just keeps fucking bending over backwards trying to impress them. And they ignore him and treat him like shit until they need to use him. And then they give him a little bit of candy. And by candy, I mean a little bit of positive attention. But they just keep him on the fucking hook. Keep him on the hook. He's just a fucking pet. The way people have a pet, like a dog, at home. And the dog sits at home 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and gets maybe a frisbee or a tennis ball thrown every now and then for him, or a pat on the head, or a little scratch on the belly. And that's it. Then the dog gets thrown back in the fucking yard and ignored again for another week. That's what these nice guys are like. But they make our lives more difficult because they keep teaching and encouraging these bitches to do what they do. That's the problem with nice guys. Alright, I appreciate you guys watching. Semper Fi. And when you wake up, look in the mirror and you say, I have the penis. I have the penis. And that's all there is to it. You fucking go out and make your way in the world and be a man. Don't be a nice guy. <laughs> Take care, guys.